Happy Thursday. Good morning. I'm meteorologist Ted Schmidt. It's just about a quarter to nine o'clock here. And boy, do we have a great looking day ahead of us. We started the morning at 51 degrees and already moved up 10 degrees in just the past couple of hours. But uh, we have a very dry atmosphere and clear skies. And so it's kind of the situation, uh, it's kind of lends itself to uh, large fluctuations in those daily temperatures. Cool mornings, that warm June sun warming things up pretty quickly. And so it's going to be definitely warmer than yesterday. In fact, next hour or two will be warmer than we were all day yesterday already. 68 was the high incidentally on Wednesday in Rochester. We did manage to see a lot of sunshine yesterday. Boy, was that awesome. That was incredible. Got rid of the clouds, had sun. It was a little breezy, a little cool, but um, it was a really nice uh, way to end the day on Wednesday. Today, this morning, of course, not a cloud in the sky. Uh, that may change in time. We're going to be watching uh, as we move along through the afternoon, the possibility of showers. It's kind of a remote possibility, but one of those things I've been talking about often on all week, okay, watching these shower chances north of us and thinking, how close will they get? Well, they may get close enough to, to at least uh, have to show it on radar and uh, talk about it. It may even impact some of us here locally uh, by the heart of the afternoon. But 61 right now, that's our quality group camera from CC Heights here in Rochester. And yeah, yeah a good looking day today. And if you're missing uh, warmth, well, we do have some of that down the road. In the meantime, we're going to have a stretch of really mild weather, very comfortable uh, temperatures, 70s for about the next four days. Uh, humidity takes a break. For us, you notice that already uh, really began to change yesterday with those northwest winds ushering in that dry air. Now, today we wake up to something a little more comfortable, a little less uh, humid, and uh, boy, we do have. Uh, a lot of sunshine in store for our Thursday as we uh, look outside right now from Assisi Heights. Temperatures in the 60s now, uh, 61 in Rochester, it's 65 in Northwood, Iowa, Winona 65, and Decorah 63. So all of those temperatures are very typical for this time of the year. Uh, here in the Med City, uh, dew point 51. That is really nice stuff. I mean, if you're not a big fan of uh, stifling, muggy, sticky humidity, this is your day because the dew point is not an issue. Again, that's kind of a measure of how much humidity is in the air. Uh, if you get dew points in the 60s or 70s, it tells us there's more moisture in the atmosphere and you begin to feel that. But the 50s uh, and this morning, we woke up to dew points in the 40s uh, for a while there. Really nice stuff. Uh, I'll look for the rest of the day. We see the possibility of a couple of isolated showers, and some may even pop up as soon as not as two o'clock. But looking at showers, a couple of thunderstorms. Uh, high temperature around 77 later today. Uh, what we're keeping an eye on now is an area of low pressure north of us. Sh showers now moving in uh, uh, to parts of north northern Wisconsin. The Northwoods there, uh, activity moving toward Rhinelander and maybe even Wausau, moving through Duluth. Now with that, we're watching a cold front that's pushing southward. There are going to be ch some chances of showers uh, as that front gets closer. Some of the shower chances shift southward. The severe weather risk, uh, that's the marginal risk. A very small chance a couple of these storms will become severe. It's just north of the area to give you an idea how close we are to that type of si situation. And we are actually outlined in the general risk of just non-severe thunder thunderstorms from the Storm Prediction Center. So there is that chance, at least of rain. But here's high-res future track. We had dry skies. You see a couple little spotty showers pop up in our area, and uh, that may be what happens. A couple of isolated showers, perhaps one or two rumbles of thunder, but the better chance of rain is staying way north of us, uh, northern Wisconsin, central Wisconsin eventually, and uh, we stay then otherwise rain-free until at the very earliest late Friday night. We'll see that on future cast in a couple of minutes. But right now, breezy and warm today. Temperatures in the upper 70s. A terrific weekend. And then warmer next week, we are looking at 80s returning as soon as Monday at this point. But kind of a breezy day. The winds today picking up to around uh, 25 to 30 miles per hour later this morning into the afternoon. Some of these showers here uh, we're watching kind of just graze the area to our north and east. So we'll be keeping an eye on those. Uh, it could be some of our northern counties, Rochester and spots northward. We'll see the possibility of maybe a stray shower or a thunderstorm between around two o'clock and five o'clock this afternoon. Otherwise, we wait uh, until the, the, you know tomorrow night or maybe even next week before we see rain. High pressure comes in. There's actually a, a change in the winds. You watch the winds now here. They, they're actually coming out of the north uh, by tomorrow as a cold front comes through. And uh, for tomorrow, uh, temperature is looking uh, very similar to today because uh, really this is going to be a fairly mild night. Mid, mid 50s instead of low 50s where we were last night. Uh, and from there with all that um, June sunshine, we warm up a little more quickly. Now, the reinforcing shot of cool air really comes in tomorrow night. High pressure comes in. Uh, with that in mind, we also have this. Here are those showers. This is going to be maybe very early 
on Saturday morning. Uh, so the possibility of, uh, I tried to circle that, doesn't work in the banner layer apparently, but um, a shower or two is possible between around 3 a.m. and maybe 8 a.m. on Saturday. Those then move out, and then we look at some sunshine dominating uh, the rest of our Saturday. So maybe a stray shower early Saturday, uh, otherwise, we're going to have uh, sunshine for the weekend. 77 today in Rochester, 81 Mason City, 79 in Owatonna. Uh, seasonal average, yeah, that's 77. We'll be right there today with gusty west winds, times reaching 30 miles per hour, starting around 10 this morning until about 5 or 6 this afternoon, and then the winds sub subside later tonight. But an isolated shower is possible, though, the four parts of the afternoon, especially from Rochester to the north. Otherwise, uh, breezy and warm, 77 today. Tonight, 55, a lighter west wind with clear skies. And tomorrow, 76, a great-looking Friday. A great way to end the week. It'll be the mid-70s. Uh, still a little bit of a north breeze, around 15 miles per hour, maybe 20 at times. The seven-day forecast, uh, the weekend looks terrific. We have isolated storm chances Monday. That may be early in the morning. Another one by Tuesday afternoon. And otherwise, you start seeing temperatures really climb into that uh, steamy range. Mid-80s by the middle of next week. It looks like we'll stay there uh, through the rest of next week as well. In the meantime, uh, everybody enjoy that uh, sunshine today. The great-looking weekend is right around the corner. And I'm getting pretty excited about this. So, yeah. Uh, meantime, have a great uh, Thursday. We'll see you back here tomorrow.